darling. Fix this class for me. I don't think I've got it on right. Why doesn't that phone ring? Oh, honey, that call hasn't come through yet. I'm sure it's not going to come through tonight, and we're going to be late. We haven't heard from the kids for a week, honey. I I'd like to talk to them. I'm worried. Well, I'd like to talk to them, too, but there's nothing to worry about. Sure, if anything was wrong, Bunny would let us know. And in the meantime, you're going to make us late for the opera. Big deal, so we'll be late. You know, the best time to go to the opera is after the soprano has stabbed herself. Oh, Daddy, I'm surprised at you. I thought you liked music. I do, but that Wagnerian stuff always kills me. It's always some 300-pound dame sitting on a little horse, and she's... <laughs> <laughs> the horse is being crushed, and she's screaming. <laughs> Hello? Yes. Yes, Izzy, put him on. Hi, son. Hi, darling. Put Linda on the other phone. She hasn't come home from school yet? Oh, dear. Hey, why haven't you guys written? How's everything going? Okay, I guess. What do you mean, you guess? Anything wrong? Something happened at school that kind of shook me up. Uh, what? What happened? What? Uh, Rusty, you didn't get into any kind of trouble. Oh, no, nothing like that. Well, what happened, boy? Gosh, Dad, you're calling from Europe. You don't want to hear about my problems at these prices. <laughs> Rusty, let us worry about that. Tell us what happened. Well, it's kind of a long story. Well, make it fast, son. We'll be late for the opera. Rusty, take your time. There's no point in getting there until the soprano has stabbed herself anyway. <laughs> okay. It all started about a week ago. I'd gotten some big news at school, and I came home feeling pretty good. Hello, everybody! Gee, it's great to be home. Hi. It's great to be alive! What a beautiful day! What a beautiful world! <laughs> now I think he's flipped. <laughs> Hello, sister dear. I swear you grow more beautiful every day. Now I know he's <laughs> Now, now, Linda, I think it's very, very nice. I love to see a boy acting that way toward his little sister. <laughs> what are you up to, Rusty? <laughs> hey, what are you in such a good mood about? Well, I'll tell you, Uncle Charlie. Guess what happened at school today? Go ahead, guess. You passed recess. <laughs> Um, you flunked at recess? <laughs> at least I'm punching. Oh, come on, Charlie. All right, Rusty, what is it? It must be something good. Well, yes, if you consider it good to be nominated for class president. Class president? Rusty! Hey, boy, that's terrific! Oh, it certainly is. Charlie, that's quite an honor. Oh, Rusty, you must be popular at school. Hey, what happens when you're president? They give you a big black P to wear on your sweater? Oh, <laughs> Charlie. No, he's not elected yet. He has to get the votes first, right, Rusty? Well, I don't think there'll be too much of a problem there, Aunt Bunny. There's only one other guy running. Well, uh -huh. you figure he's not much competition? Well, his name is Horace. Need I say more? <laughs> I see what you mean. And uh, what else do you know about him besides his name? Well, nobody knows too much about him. He's not too popular at school. Oh, well, why not? He's the kind that studies. Yes, I hear they have that kind around school. <laughs> oh, I'm not knocking studying. It's oh. all right in its place, but it won't help you win a school election. The kids just vote for whoever they like. It's kind of a popularity contest. Well, in that case, I figure you're in. Congratulations, yeah, Russ. Russ. Wait a minute, Louise! Yes, me! Louise, I want you to fix something very special for dinner tonight. What's the matter? Are we celebrating? <laughs> yeah, we sure are. <laughs> Rusty's gonna be president of his class. He is? How about that? I'll say how about that. Why, it was only yesterday that he was a little baby. Oh, I never realized I was dying for a future president. <laughs> I am so proud of you, son. So Thanks. proud. Thank you, Louise. <laughs> Well, listen, being the president of your class is about the biggest thing that you can be, huh? Well, yeah, everybody sort of looks up to you, hmm. especially the girls. Oh! <laughs> Boy, I'll bet that Lorraine Schultz is going to be shocked. Yeah, who's Lorraine Schultz? Oh, she's a girl in my class. She thinks she's a big glamour girl, but I can never get her to talk to me. What a snob. She walks right by me with her nose in the air. When it comes to being snooty, she's the worst. She's so stuck up, it's positively disgusting. Well, then why do you want to talk to her? Because I love her. <laughs> oh, Louise, I sure wish I could be at Rusty's school today and hear him deliver that campaign speech. I bet he gives him the old razzle-dazzle. <laughs> I just bet you he does. <laughs> Boy, I wish I were a teenager in his class so I could vote for him. I wish I was a teenager, period. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hi there. Hi, honey. How you doing? 
honey. Well, what you got there? Oh, some things Rusty will be needing now that he's going to be president. Oh. Oh. oh, but Charlie, he's not elected yet. He will be. It's a cinch. <laughs> Hey, how do you think I like this, huh? It's beautiful. Yeah, you know, there's nothing like, like a gavel to show who's boss. Mm. Okay. This meeting will now come to order. What's the first order of business? Fixing them dents that you just made on that desk. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, look, here's something else Russ can use. I had the prop man at the club make it up. It's a presidential seal. A presidential seal? Yeah, you know, whenever you sign papers, you just give it the old squeeze with the seal, and it becomes official. Charlie, I hate to shock you. He's just running for president of his class, not the United States. Don't worry. It ain't the real thing. See, instead of an eagle, it's a plucked chicken. <laughs> Pardon, Charlie and Albert. You are a coop of 14 carat coops. I mean, the kid is, you know. <laughs> oh, Rusty, stay right where you at, honey. Stay right there. Don't you move. Okay, now for your grand answer. Oh. Here, here. Here, here, sir. What's the matter with you? I was playing Hail the Conquering Hero, not Old Man Moses' dead. Hey, Sunshine! What way is this for the future president of the junior class to be acting? President? Huh? Well, Rusty, what is it? Before you can be president, you gotta get votes, right? Right. Right now, the only vote I'm sure of is mine. <laughs> well, Rusty, what happened? The roof fell in, that's what happened. All along, I thought they'd just put up that Horace for a pigeon to make it look good. Now, it turns out I'm the pigeon. Yeah, but I thought this Horace was a little nothing. Ha! Huh? You should have heard that little nothing when he got up to speak. All of a sudden, he became a big something. <laughs> you should have heard him, Uncle Charlie. Talk about eloquence. He used words I've never heard of. He was so terrific, one guy got up and started yelling, let's make it unanimous for Horace. And guess who that guy was? Me! <laughs> well, when you had a chance, didn't you butt him with your rebuttal? <laughs> what I said when I got up, Louise, I just stood there and stammered and made a fool of myself. I had so much egg in my face, you could have fried me for an omelet. <laughs> you, uh, weren't quite a smash, were you? No, by the time I was finished, half the kids had walked out and the other half weren't even listening. Boy, I'm... Dead. Hey, now, come on, what kind of attitude is that? Where's the old positive thinking? I'm thinking positive. I'm thinking positively I'm gonna lose. <laughs> the only reason I was nominated was nobody else had run against him. They just put my name up to make it look good. You know what I am? I'm a human sacrifice. You mean they're gonna burn you at the stake? <laughs> no, they're not, and we're not gonna roll over and play dead either. Oh, we might as well. I don't have a chance. Oh, now, Rusty, stop talking like that. Of course you have a chance. But now you've, you've, you've got to get in there and, and, and start selling yourself. Right. Get the kids talking about you. Make them Rusty Williams conscious. Right. Well, how can I do that? Well, uh, uh, we got to think. Charlie, think of something. Yeah, uh, but let's uh, everybody think. All right. <laughs> what do you... Uh... Uh... Well, I got an idea. What? Let's all walk in separate rooms. <laughs> talk about you, Rusty. What? Grow a beard. Oh, be serious. <laughs> well, it didn't hurt Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> Aunt Bunny, do we have to have her in here? Oh, well, sweetheart, honey, look, would you be a nice girl and run to your room and play? Hmm? All right. Good You're just mad because you can't grow a beard. <laughs> you don't have any roots. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I got it. I got it. The Smothers Brothers, they're playing at my club right now. They only sell a million records a year, and who do they sell them to? The teenagers, am I right, Russ? Yeah, but what does that have to do with the election? Pray allow me to finish. <laughs> what if word should happen to leak out that a Rusty Williams rally was gonna be held Saturday afternoon at the Copa Club with the Smothers Brothers putting on the show? The whole school would turn out. And it just might be possible that there would be a generous supply of refreshments served. Uh -huh. Served absolutely free. Absolute. <laughs> Well, honey, you want us to win the election, don't you? Yeah, that's right. I, uh, how do you like that? That's nice. I, he's going to be president, and i got to balance the budget. <laughs> <laughs> now, we got to start thinking. We have to get something to drink for the kids and ice cream. It's all right, honey. No, wait, got it wait all. a minute, Aunt Bunny. 
I don't know. This, this seems sort of like buying votes. Now, wait a minute. What's the difference? This Horace character's been having his way so far. What happens if we give you a little edge? Well, that's right, Rusty. You, you have to get votes somehow. Now, come on, kid. You know, politics is a jungle. Anything goes. Yes, and I'll go right away and order the refreshments. No, no, <laughs> please don't. I don't know. Russ. Russ, don't you want to be president? Yes, but this just doesn't seem right. I don't well, know. Russ, think of how proud your mom and dad would be. I don't know. Anything. Russell, think of how proud we'll be. I don't know, Uncle Charlie. I just... Russell, think about Lorraine's shoes. <laughs> <laughs> we serve the refreshments before or after the entertainment. <laughs> Well, the fox went out on a chase one night, bade to the moon to give him light. He had many a mile to go that night before he reached the town, oh, town, oh, town, oh. Many a mile to go that night before he reached the town, oh. He ran till he came to a great big pen. Ducks and the geese were kept there, and he said, a couple of you gonna grease much in before I leave this town, oh. Town, oh, town, oh. A couple of you gonna grease much in before I leave this town, oh. He grabbed the gray goose by the neck, threw the duck across his back. He didn't mind the quack, quack, quack with the legs all dangling down, oh, down, down, oh. He didn't mind the quack, quack, quack with the legs all dangling down, oh. Quack, 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 quack. <laughs> Old Grandma, she jumped out of bed. Out to the window, she stuck her head. She cried, John, John, the great goose is gone. Foxy's on the town, oh, town, oh, town, oh. John, John, the great goose is gone. Foxy's on the town, oh. Foxy quack, went to quack, his quack, 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 quack. <laughs> Foxy went to his old bed. There was a little quack, 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 quack. Quack, shut up. <laughs> now, I warned you, I don't want you to quack. No more quacking. I warned you twice. All I want is singing, cooperation. Is that understood? Listen Just on. cooperation. Listen on. Thank you very much. Foxy went to his own den. There were the little ones, eight, nine, ten, crying. Daddy better go back again. Must be a mighty fine town, oh, town, oh, town, oh. Daddy better go quack, back. Quack, 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 quack. Twice, I, twice I warned you. I said, no more quacking. What do I have to do to get that through your thick skull? Do I have to hit you over the head with a bass? <laughs> you had to go quack, 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 quack. Very original. But it wasn't very funny. You ruined the song, and I hope you're satisfied with what you've done. On purpose, you stood up here and just went quack, quack, quack. And, I, and you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to teach you a lesson right now. A very good lesson. You are to step up to the microphone, and you are to start quacking all by yourself. No. Yes. No. You start quacking very boisterously and very rapidly until you are uh, physically no, exhausted. <laughs> start quacking right now. Now. She loved bones, oh, bones, oh, bones, oh. They never had to suffer in life, and little ones, she loved the bones, oh. Okay, Mark. Uh, quack, quack, quack. Yeah, yeah. It's going great, huh? Oh, it's sure. Well, listen, Charlie, do we have some more ice cream cake? Yeah, more? They, they had to, two, two helpings apiece already, then. Well, honey, don't forget, every calorie is a vote. Yeah, oh, okay, Re refill it. All refill. right, quack, quack, quack. <laughs> I'd like now uh, to take the time to introduce the entire group. First off, <laughs> on my extreme uh, right, is my younger on my, left. on my left is my younger brother Ethnic Dicky Smothers, who plays the bass and sings the tenor parts in the arrangement. Oh, Ethnic Dicky Thanks. Smothers! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! You should, uh, I think you should tell everyone uh, why we're here. We, I think we better tell everyone why we're here. My brother and myself are here on behalf of Rusty Williams, who's running for class president, and Rusty is we, to vote vote for Rusty because Rusty's fine, honest, and trustworthy. Right. Oh, he's, he's fine and honest and trustworthy, probably. <laughs> he's as fine and honest and uh, trustworthy as, um, as my brother, little Dickie Smothers. <laughs> <laughs> but he's not running for class president, so don't vote for my brother, Dickie. <laughs> 
Remember the motto, you know, we, you know the slogan? Yeah. We have a slogan we like to share with you in excitement and frolic. <laughs> Go ahead. It goes like this. Get off your Dusty and vote for Rusty. <laughs> I think we'd better sing another song right now. I'll join in. And we, off your dusty and vote for Rusty, and I'll join in now and sing along with Smothers. <laughs> oh, we are marching to Pretoria, Pretoria, Pretoria. Oh, we are marching to Pretoria, Pretoria today. Take it, Dickie Smothers. Well, sing with me and I'll sing with you and we will sing together and we will dance together and we will sing together. Well, sing with me and I'll sing with you. We will dance and sing together as we march along. Everybody join oh, in. Oh, we are marching to Pretoria, Pretoria, Pretoria. Oh, we are marching to Pretoria. Pretoria today. Brother Tom, take it. No. <laughs> when I say take it, you're supposed to step up to the microphone, just like that. For example, take it, Tom. Boom, and you're taking it. But I said Be no. <laughs> no, you said no. Now I will say take it again, and you do just what I told you to do. All right? As we march along, take it, Tom. <laughs> Get off your dusty and vote for Rusty. Ring -a -ding -ding. <laughs> My brother made that up. Get off your dusty and vote for Rusty. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> marching, 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 marching. Oh, marching to Pretoria, 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 Pretoria. Pretoria. Oh, we are marching to Pretoria. Oh, we are skipping to Pretoria. Great. That rally Saturday worked like a charm. Good. <laughs> Uncle Charlie, in the straw vote, I'm running four to one ahead. Hey! Four to one! Ladies and gentlemen, I give you our next president. Just of the junior class. <laughs> Today, yes, but tomorrow, who knows? Maybe president of the United States. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's possible. You know, you got a good head of hair for it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, silly. Rusty, I just knew that that rally would put you right on top. You knew it, yeah, after I thought of it. Oh, yes, but you only thought of it after you saw that I was going to suggest it. Oh, sure, sure, sure. <laughs> Just like a wife. Take credit for anything except denting the fender on the car. <laughs> I'm grateful to you both. I'd be nowhere if it wasn't for you. Well, Rusty, we were more than glad to do it, really. You know, Russ, it's, it's kind of fun being a president maker. <laughs> yeah. Hey, wait a minute. You know something? It's not too late in London. Why don't we put in a call and tell your dad and mom? Hey, good no, idea. No, no, Uncle Charlie, let's uh. wait till I'm officially elected. You know, to be sure. You're right. We don't want to jinx it. Everything's been going so good. It has been going good. You know, it certainly makes a difference when you're important. Everybody notices you. Well, sure. Even Lorraine Schultz is starting to pay some attention to me now. Uh -huh. Yeah. You know what she said to me today? What? She said, hi there. <laughs> Well, Ross, it's well, beginning to work. And you probably won't have much time for Lorraine Schultz once you're president. You're right. I'm going to have a lot of things to do. Well, listen, Russ, tell us, what, a, what does a president do? What, yeah. a, what are some of your duties going to be? Oh, well, there's a lot of things, like sitting on the stage during assemblies and getting your picture taken for the junior yearbook and <laughs> signing autographs and shaking hands with the guys on the football team. Yeah, there's a million things to do. <laughs> No, Rusty, I don't think that a future president should answer the door, allow the Pearl Mesta of our set to do it. <laughs> Horace! May I, uh, come in, Rusty? Oh, sure, come on in. Uh, Aunt Bunny, Uncle Charlie, this is Horace Bradley. How do you do, Horace? Oh, <laughs> it's a little thing I use at the garden club. <laughs> I, uh, I heard about the results of the straw vote. 
I guess it's not premature to congratulate you. Well, thanks, Horace. Boy, that was some rally Saturday. You sunk me, but good. Well, you know what they say, all's fair in love and politics. Yeah, it's a true saying. They say it all the time. I'm not <laughs> complaining. I just thought as long as it's all over but the shouting, well, I'd offer my help. Your help? Well, yeah, you'll have a lot to do. Oh, yeah, we were just talking about that. Yeah, well, uh, thanks, Horace. It's nice of you to offer, but I think Rusty can handle the job. Well, okay, but I thought maybe you'd want me to give you the figures I collected. You know, on the advertising revenue from the junior yearbook? Yeah, you could give me them if you want. Yeah, and... Well, maybe I could help you list the reasons why we ought to have a larger representation on the student council. Yeah, it might be nice to have a list like that. Never know when it might come in handy. I could do the groundwork in organizing the seminars. Seminars? What seminars? Well, the seminars to discuss the honor system. Oh, those seminars! <laughs> I've done a lot of work on it. And, well, you might as well have it. Oh, thanks. Now, don't misunderstand me now, Rusty. I don't mean to cut in on any of the credit. But I think the kids in our class are entitled to the best administration they can get. I just want to help. Anyway, that's uh, what I came to say. And glad you understand. So long. Very glad to have met you, Mr. and Mrs. Helper. Thank you, Horace. Thank Bye. you, Horace. Bye, Rusty. Yeah, thanks, Horace. Well, guess that just about wraps that up. Yeah, Rusty, I guess it just about does. There's only one thing left to do now. What's that? Have another rally next Saturday. Mm. Oh, come on, Russ. Now enough is enough. But Uncle Charlie, if we don't have a rally for Horace, how are we going to get him elected? Horace? Oh, come on, Uncle Charlie. Anybody with half a brain would realize that Horace is the better man for the job. The only reason I wanted to get elected was so I could sign autographs and get my picture in the junior yearbook and be a big man with Lorraine Schultz. But Horace wants to be elected for the good of the class. And after we went to all the trouble to buy votes for me, when I didn't even deserve them, the, the least we can do is buy them back for the right guy. How about it? Okay, Russ. Thanks, Uncle Charlie. That's quite a kid, huh? Hmm. And we almost ruined everything. <laughs> yeah. Well, listen, now we've got to start organizing for this new rally. Now, we've got to think of the entertainment. We have to have lots of fun entertainment and, and, and refreshments. We've got to get oodles and oodles of refreshments all free. Yeah, and then I can give this gavel to Horace. Oh, that's a good idea, Charlie. Yeah, see, so while I'm serving free of charge, he can hit me with it to deaden the pain. <laughs> So you see, Dad, I played the game fair, played the game square, so naturally I lost. You disappointed? You kidding? I'm, I'm real proud of you, boy. Gosh, Dad, you really mean that? You, you bet I do. Real proud. So am I, darling. You're a wonderful boy. Gee, thanks, Mom, Dad. You sure know how to make a guy feel good. Hey, I better hang up now. Oh, bye, darling. Love to everyone. Yeah. We'll, we'll write to you real soon, boy. Okay. Goodbye. <laughs> you mean they, they got class presidents in your class? Uh-huh, and I'm gonna be it. Oh, well, Linda, darling, now you can't talk like that. You have to be elected first. Oh, I'll win, because Uncle Charlie put on a rally at the club. <laughs> it's Captain Kangaroo and Bozo the Clown, and we'll have refreshments free. <laughs> crying out loud. Kid, didn't you learn anything from my experience? I don't care. I've got to win the election, so Ricky will pay attention to me. Well, who's Ricky? Lorraine Schultz's brother. <laughs> <laughs>